Hey, I'm now going to show you how to put .mov files on Windows Movie Maker. It's, if you don't know already, it's a basic QuickTime format. Um, all you gotta do is go to the site I listed on uh, the side and uh, download it. It's called Rad Tools, apparently. Anyways, if you open it up, open it up real quick. Okay. Uh, this thing will open up, and uh, you can import all your videos here. Just click and drag, or whatever you want, you know. Um, but once you have a video on there, all you do is go to here. Let's just put one video on, so I'm going to delete all these. Okay. So I'm going to Okay, let's make this fast. Quick and easy. Um, basically, all we need to do is click on the Silicon Convert button after we drag the, the file over. Convert. It says Convert a File. Okay. This thing will pop up at the screen. All these crazy numbers. Okay, you, not, you don't even need to know them. All you need to do is click Browse if you have the file, you know, what you want to convert to, and then the output type is, you know, there's a ton of selections here. You can do default AVI file, uh, WAV file, all sorts of things, right? Um, just choose AVI file, that'll work on Windows Movie Maker. Um, then, click convert. After you click convert, um, this video compression will come up, and you can click a bunch of options like full frames and compressed, or Microsoft MPEG file. Uh, just click that, um, right there. Click it, click then click OK. And now this thing will load, it'll take about two to three minutes. And after it's done, it, wherever you save it to, it should be saved right there. I just, you know, saved my desktop, so. And then drag it onto one of the Movie Maker, and there you go. I hope this tutorial helped.